care about it. And thank you for watching Tomes Tube, where we make regular videos for regular people. So guys, if you like the content you're getting on the channel, don't forget to smash that like button and don't forget to follow. It really helps out the channel. Thanks, guys. So today I have a special guest. Y'all know his name. Little Antonio, a.k.a. Ant Boy, a.k.a. Little Guy. And if you're not following his channel, you really should. He makes really awesome edits, cool PlayStation videos, and all types of video game stuff. And he throws some ill songs over it and does remixes and stuff like that. Do you want to add a, something to that tone? Nope. All right, guys, so that being said, today what we're going to do is we're going to show you guys how to install a hard drive into your PlayStation. So I currently actually have a hard drive in the PlayStation, a one terabyte Seagate. And what we're going to do is we're going to take that one out and we're going to install the new two terabyte Samsung 980 Pro. Before we get into anything else, let's give you guys a closer look, a.k.a. Thumbnail Act. You know, it's not easy to pay. Just look around, it's not hard to do. You're my company. All right, y'all, so what we're going to do is we're going to take our Samsung 980 Pro. This is supposedly one of the best ones you can get. It's got a really good read and write speed, 7,000 megabytes, and it also comes with the heat sink. So what we're going to do is we're going to take out the Seagate, and we're going to install our Samsung 980 Pro. What you're going to do is you're going to take your PlayStation, and then you're just going to flip it over. So we have our PlayStation flipped over. And now here's the real pain in the ass of this whole thing, right, Tone? Mm -hmm. Taking this bad boy and putting it in really isn't that hard. It's just taking the stupid ass white case off of your PlayStation. That really is annoying. I'm just going to do the unboxing for you guys. I can't help it myself. <laughs> So we got our hard drive and the heat sink is already built in, thankfully. Hmm. So we don't have to build anything or anything like that. So I'm going to get ready to install this bad boy. Solid state drive made by Samsung. Okay, so supposedly this one plays the games off of the hard drive. So you can install two terabytes worth of games, which is what? About 20 games, Tom? Mm -hmm. 10 games? So what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to take the right hand corner and you're supposed to kind of lift it up, take the left, slide it, right tall. All right, so basically I held it down, Tony all kind of slid it and picked it up. Nice, nice job, job Tony. So the part that you really want to mess with is basically this part right here. Uh, let me do this part. All right, get on this side, Tom. So this right. is the part that you need, like, unscrew and open up. It's really this part, not this part, not this part, definitely not this part. And it really is this part. So you got to screw this little thing open. Righty tighty, lefty loosey, bro. Make sure you take your screws, guys, and you put them away from your PS because you don't want them to get caught up inside your PS. And also make sure that they don't fall off because you don't want to lose them. All right, so we're going to take our white metal piece. You got to unscrew this little part. Right here. After you take that part off, make sure you safely take this part off. Slash the other one. So this is the old school one, y'all. Fire Cuda, one terabyte. Gonna give this to Triple J, John, John Joseph Trippy Jr. Jr. All right, and then you might have a little part right here. A lot of people might think this is not useful, but trust me, it really is when it comes to installing those. So make sure you keep them at the side with your other screws that you need. All right, so here we have the beautiful Samsung microchip, mm -hmm. and you're gonna wanna install it in right into there. But there's like a little like hole right there, and your um, chip should fit in it correctly. So your chip will fit in it correctly. So you want to just install it. Get it in and then there you go. Like that. You got to put this little thing in. Yeah, then you know where it fits. And then, you know, our fits at 60. So we're going to put it in there safely like that. Right. And then one in again. There you go. Like that. And then you want to take up the little screw you had earlier want to put it right in that little little, little circle thing where well, you have the space saver silver thing and then right? you got to screw it and screw it back on just like so until you know you can't really like screw it anymore 
It should be good. Oh yeah, it's in it nice and nice, secure. Nice job, secure Tom. Secure in place. And then a lot of people say, yeah, you don't need to put this part back on. But if you do not, more dust will accumulate around this area. Go in and you know, kind of mess up your your little like microchip over there. So you really do want to put it back on so that doesn't happen. So you want to put it on just like that, like so. Where's and the here's your screw, man. Oh, all right. And then I'm your you assistant. Wanna, you want to get the other screw? That's fine. Place it right in there. And where's the other? Oh, sorry. Screw? I'm your assistant. And then you want to get the other screwdriver and screw this it. This guy, he's doing the right whole thing by himself. In. So you want to screw it in like so, right until you can't really screw it anymore. Then after that point, it should be perfect. And here comes perfect. the other painful part. Hover back in. Put it in the same way. So okay, you so you place it down it. and then you slide it this way. Place it down and then you slide it this way. It's nice and secure now, guys. So guess what? We now have a PlayStation with two terabytes installed. So now we're going to show you guys what you got to do next step once you're finished and you plug it back in, y'all. We just plugged everything back in, y'all. Now we're going to show you guys what the next step is for your PlayStation and your new two terabyte hard drive. So when you turn your um, PlayStation 5 back on, it will show this little screen right here telling you to format the new little microchip that you put into your PS5 and press format M.2 SSD. All right, so we're going to format our new hard drive. And when you get to this screen, remember to press OK. And now that it says it has been formatted, press OK. And all right y'all so thank you for watching our video for how to install a new m.2 ssd inside of your ps5 along with little antonio aka ant boy aka little guy and don't forget guys check out his channel it's really cool and of course don't forget to click like don't forget to click subscribe and don't forget to click that bell <laughs> notification so you don't miss any of my vids Thank you for watching Tones Tube, where we make regular, regular videos, videos for, for regular, regular people. people. See you next time, guys.